Do we know exactly why? Of course, we have the chairman and founder uh, in police control, as it were. And we've got this company's efforts to restructure really not panning out here. And the thing is, you've got to ask yourself, why would, could they, how could they restructure if they can't issue debt, can't issue fresh equity? They're not going to get a, any banks on board here as well, given the parlor state of the company. So, you know, where does that leave them? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So Evergrande currently is in a mess. I mean, there's uh, the criminal investigation is ongoing on its on its executives, and also uh, you know the founder is supposedly under some kind of detention uh, by police in Guangdong. Uh, so there's a lot of uncertainty whether that final restructuring plan is actually going to re be realized. Uh, and we know there's a liquidation hearing in Hong Kong. Uh, and if this company, which is used to be one of the biggest developers in China, gets liquidated. What does it mean for all the unfinished projects in onshore China and for the home buyer confidence? That's the big question there. Um, and we all know that you know there's a golden week coming up, and people are asking whether this Evergrande uh, fiasco is going to really hit consumer confidence onshore. And I think that coupled with you know the country garden restructuring use, which I think normally in the in the home buyer market it's kind of interpreted as a kind of lying flat effort, you know, uh, on Chinese social media. So I don't. Think think that's going to help with that key week uh, home sale data.